Thank you for joining us. Legal closure today for two families, seven years after their loved ones died in a crash caused by a drunk driver. Judge Jerry Harmison sentencing Karina Stockstill to five years in prison. In 2016, Stockstill was driving drunk and crossed the center line on Farm Road 159 north of Springfield. She pleaded guilty in June to two counts of involuntary manslaughter for causing the deaths of Nicholas Thomas and Dustin Emmett. Color 10 Sydney Moran is live outside the Greene County Courthouse tonight after attending the sentencing. Well, it was an emotional courtroom on both sides, but the judge ended up giving stock still two five year sentences that will run at the same time and denied probation. I've seen a lot of things, some uh, pretty ugly things uh, in our community. Uh, but in terms of the dynamics of the case, this is probably the hardest decision that I've had to make in the past year. The crash happened seven years ago, just days before Christmas in 2016. Dustin Emmett died at the site of the crash and Nick Thomas died at Mercy Hospital in Springfield. Police say Stockstill was drunk with a blood alcohol content between 0.088 and 0.113 percent at the time of the crash. Today, the courtroom was filled with family and friends of Stockstill and loved ones of Thomas and Emmett. The sentencing took over two hours with the state asking for a 10 year prison sentence. The defense asked for a probation. Family of Thomas and Emmett shared statements and asked for the maximum sentence for Stockstill. A day that is supposed to be filled with love and joy had turned into sorrow and sadness. Christmas will forever be that for my family because of the irresponsible actions of this person. Parents are not supposed to bury their children. Children are supposed to bury parents. Karina, the freer decision that night to drive after drinking, the family of Dustin Emmett and our family would never know this grief. The defense asked for an appeal bond, but the judge denied that request and Stockstill was taken out of the courtroom in handcuffs. Reporting in Springfield, City Moran, Color 10 News.